Hello, everybody, and welcome to Sid Meier's Civilization Beyond Earth. I have yet to play a complete game with this. Um, I actually originally filmed a, uh, ooh, I guess we go Vostok. <laughs> sure, why not? I actually originally filmed a, a uh, beginning episode um, of this before. That's interesting. Eight players with more open space. Uh, let's just go with the standard stuff. Um, but basically, I played it back in December, and then I got busy with exams. And so I never posted it because it would have been awkward for me to post a original episode and then not uh, continue. <laughs> um, so I have a little bit of a beginnings to my understanding but it was so long ago that i do not really know so for those of you that don't know this is the next game the sid Meier universe and it's all futuristic we've colonized like you know how i win the science victories in civ 5 and you send off a spaceship this is basically what happens when those spaceships uh, get to their destination type of deal so i'm going to be i think what i did in my first playthrough was Polystralia. The Slavic uh, orbital units stay in orbit 50% longer and you get plus 50% of the petroleum. France um, gives one virtue for every 10 virtues earned with culture. That's interesting. So the virtues are the social policies. Uh, the Asia Cooperative gives you production towards wonders and worker speed. ARC, I think, is America? I'm not really sure. I think it must be. Uh, Kevithan Protectorate. No idea what that is. Cities and outposts acquire new tiles twice as fast. That's actually kind of good, yeah. Um, Brasilia, so South, South America. Military units have plus 10% strength in melee combat and plus 5 healing when fortified. That's actually amazing. Um... That is actually pretty amazing. And then the African Union is all about growth in cities when healthy. Health is the replacement for happiness. There's no more happiness. They brought back in health. But health is basically just happiness. So it was kind of like they brought back in health because people were like, why, why, why no health? And then they just, it's just happiness. That's all health is. <laughs> um, so I think we're going to go... I went Poly Australia and it didn't really seem to help me a whole lot. We might go we might go with the African Union because it's nice to have the growth. Maybe maybe the Slavic, because the orbital units stay in orbit fifty percent longer, we get more oil. Oh, it's just I just I don't know enough of the game really to you know what, production is always good. So we're probably going to go with them. No, I lied. I lied. We're, we're going to go with the military. So next, we've got to choose our colonists. So uh, engineers gives us production in every city. Artists give us culture in every city. Aristocrats give us energy. Energy is the replacement for gold. Um, refugees give us food in every city. And science. <sighs> Scientists gives us science. Um... So, if we're going to be military, because we chose Brazil, right? That's who I chose? Yeah. <laughs> then we probably want to produce units, but we're also going to need to be able to finance the units. So, I think aristocrats. Um, choose a spacecraft. Okay, so the continental surveyor reveals coasts on the map. That's actually not bad. Gives you a nice little outline. Uh, the retrograde thrusters, wider area for choosing where to land the first city, and additional visibility around the starting area. That's actually pretty good, too. The tectonic scanner, no technology is needed to see petroleum, geothermal, and titanium resources. That's invaluable. Um, and then fusion reactor, begin with 100 energy at standard speed. I'm not really sure what the standard speed, speed means. And then life form sensor reveal alien nests on the map. Alien nests are the replacement for barbarians. Um, so I guess if we're going with the energy, I mean, 
is this i don't really understand what at standard speed means i think there 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 was a technology where it was like the more energy you have the quicker you gain it so i don't know if that's what that means but i thought that was a technology that i got that gave me that this gives me where to survey but if it's anything like my last little pre mature playthrough i didn't really play that long um then it's going to take us a while to to found secondary cities but i probably want to i probably want to change that and i probably want to get <sighs> you know what i think seeing the resources helps a lot i don't really quite know what the resources get me <laughs> choose cargo uh, so hydroponics gives us extra population in our first city as well as, you know, weed. Uh, laboratory, begin with the pioneering technology. I'm assuming that's a good little technology to have. I think pioneering is actually the one that gives us settlers, I'm not sure. Raw materials, you begin with a clinic building in your first city, so that's the happiness slash health. Weapon arsenal, you begin with a soldier unit. Not really needed machinery begin with a worker unit i think that's going to be the best one nine times out of ten uh examine a different region of space for habitable planets so terran world what if i rescan oh wow just like a whole bunch of different options i guess hmm Okay, so a world with few large land masses separated by oceans and some smaller islands. That's the continents type map. A uh, world of ocean and one very large, so that's the Pangaea type map. And then this is the archipelago region. So we want the continents, so let's go Petrovic. Uh, advanced worlds. Unique planets. A rapidly spinning world with a bulging equator and day-night cycle much shorter than Earth's. The multiplayer land battles tie in a punishingly cold world whose best lands are found along the coastlines and rivers. Hmm. So that's interesting. There's a lot of different options for that. I think that's about it. Uh, the advanced setup, we go here. So we're Brazil. We're going to edit this, of course, because um, we're not actually Brazil. I mean, come on. We are leader name uh, Empire Scott mick scotterson nope okay empire scott sure enough uh the sponsor name uh so the will of scottopia no really come on you your name was like over here i can't be the will of scottopia <sighs> okay sponsor name empire of scott there we go. Uh, sponsor short name, Scottopia. There we go. Wow, whoa, 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 whoa. Come on. Come on. Uh, sponsor adjective, of course, Scottopian. We're, we're not going to talk about me being named Emperor, Empire Scott. Emperor Scott. Uh, sponsor adjective, uh, Scottopian. All right. All right. I think we're good. Empire of Scott. Emperor Scott. Not Empire Scott. <laughs> okay. Emperor Scott. Scottopia. Team 1. Colonists or Aristocrats. Okay. So I can choose all that type of stuff there. Map type Terran. Map size. World age. 4 billion years. Don't really know what that means. Temperature. All of the victory types. Advanced game options. Uh, sure. Uh, don't stagger starts. Um, you'll see what that means uh, when we start the game here. So let's just go. I do not wish for war, but destiny cares little for my desires. My soldiers have trained their whole lives for this journey. Today, as we descend into the toxic fog, they prepare for the hunt. There will be enemies waiting, hiding. We will find them. We will eliminate them. This will be our first act upon the new world, and we will not fail. So we are a very violent... Hello. I am the Violent Advanced little Integration colony. and Simulation Resource, or Advisor. I am equipped to mm -hmm. introduce you to the basic systems that will guide your development on this new planet. Additionally, I can provide strategic advice based mm -hmm. on situations you encounter. How would you like me to proceed? 
Um, well, you know what? As, as a little bit of a tutorial, we could go new to Beyond Earth. So a little advisor would help us just a little bit. Advice only. Select, Select a suitable, a suitable location, location. to make planet fall. This will be mm -hmm. the site of our first great city. Select a plot within the red border to land. So it seems like we've got like a fiber thing here, and we've got a little pool of water there. Always nice to have a lake beside us. Lots of food over here. So I'm thinking right there, you know, only one coastal tile to attack us. Plop down our city right there. Kablamo. Sit now. That is not the city name. Let's uh, let's fix that one. Edit this up here. Uh, so this is new Scottawa. Whoa, whoa. PlayStation controller fell off of my desk. New Scottawa. Okay. Uh, let's return to map. And we got a worker. What can you make? You can make a generator, which gives me energy. You can make farms. You can make a road already. Good. I would I would question why we weren't able to make a road right away. Uh, <laughs> so let's actually... We should probably make a farm over here, right? Because that's... What is this? What is this? Can we see... Uh, get, get out of here. What is this? Fiber. See, it's popping up over here. Fiber. Um, okay. And over here, we've got forest, grassland, river. Excellent. All right. So we got an explorer this dude uh what, what did we choose we chose the petroleum one so let's move our dude over here that's geothermal right there so i think that's going to be something for energy right because you can make like geothermal energy plants in reality that's chitin so this is like an animal it's kind of like our uh, cows back home only it's chitin because <laughs> you know aliens and shit choose production old earth relics so that's basically our monument that's probably what we want to do right we can start with the regular the uh regular stuff where we build things probably the old earth relic we're gonna go for and welcome provides a bird's eye view of to the technology um <laughs> Technology is coming if you're intimidated, that's good. You should be. It's non-linear. It's non-linear, um, which is absolutely terrifying. Shut up. Shut up. Uh, it's non-linear. So we start in the center, and basically you choose one of three sort of endgame philosophies. One of them being supremacy, uh, which we um, basically we focus on killing everything and turning them like you know turning them into you know our our underlings and whatnot uh purity where our whole goal is to make this planet like earth and then harmony which makes us adapt to the planet um so supremacy is probably the smartest course of action just because of our um our uh sieve <laughs> but we need to decide uh, where we're gonna go so the ranger is basically our archer so physics is kind of nice um an ultrasonic fence prevents aliens from approaching within two tiles of the city that's actually really good because the aliens can be really bitchy especially the siege worms uh thorium reactor so that's uh that's actually kind of nice too a repair facility plus 10 percent production for land that reveals titanium but of course we already have that combat rover so that's like our horseman um and we got a missile rover which is basically our catapult we can also make a gunboat uh and we can clear miasma ew oh okay so let's go that miasma so let's show you what miasma is, is this stuff. See the little floaty, flecky, green shit? Um, that damages you. Uh, <laughs> damages all of your, like this dude, he's sitting in miasma. You'll watch, we'll, we'll end the turn. He's going to take damage at the start of our next turn. 
because uh, of the miasma. And so we want to be able to clear that. Uh, can I turn you off? I really, I really don't like you. I probably should have just turned you off. Um, anyways, so we're going to continue to do a little bit of exploration. Uh, that is a, an enemy alien bug. Uh, where's your nest? Floatstone. Well, that's really fucking cool. What even are you? Okay. Uh, the thing about the aliens in this game, uh, is that construct a plantation. Yeah, let's do that. Um, is it's basically, it's like the more you attack them, uh, the less they mind their own business. It's kind of like if you keep destroying alien nests and stuff like that, then all of a sudden, uh, there's going to be a lot of aliens, um, patrolling, patrolling, these are the ruins, basically. Um, there's going to be a lot of aliens basically patrolling your shit and just ruining your day, right? Um, so it's kind of like if barbarians, if you attacked barbarians a whole lot and then they started raiding and pillaging your, your lands because you kept attacking them and they didn't like you. Um, basically, basically is how it, how it rolls. Ah, uh, the planet is littered with strange artifacts. Thank you. Don't worry. That's an artifact, I think. Crash satellite. Uh, do I have the ability to... I mean, he, he told me something, but I'm not sure if my explorer has the ability to do to work on those yet. That's basically like, you can send your explorer, your explorer down. Something strange nearby. It could be a ruin, mm -hmm. some sort of wreckage, or perhaps alien in And excavated it. You okay. So inside the research... The uh, thank you. Just shut up. Uh, thank you. Okay. Inside the research po resource pod, you found a basic satellite still intact and enough rocket fuel for it to launch to reach escape, uh, for it to reach escape velocity. There we go. A free solar collector is now ready for launch in the new city of New Scotawa. Okay. So, we're going to do that back over there. First, we're going to send you over here, though. Uh, so this is our solar collector. Uh, so what does it do? Uh, plus one energy on tiles you own. Any city in range also receives plus 20% energy overall. Uh, so we probably don't want to launch it yet. Because we probably want to wait for me to be able to work more tiles. I would imagine. Because these are only in orbit for a specific amount of time, and then they deorbit, and I don't know if it's like you make you like repair them or something. I don't. I don't really know. <laughs> I'm so new to this game. Not gonna be much help. Um, but fuck it. Let's just this is the orbital view. let's launch it. it. Displays the effect areas of units that are in orbit. Mm -hmm. Effect okay, areas there we go. cannot overlap, so it is useful to plan launches ahead of time. This view mm -hmm. also shows your launch coverage area. An orbital mm -hmm. unit must be launched over a tile with coverage. Coverage okay. can be extended by... Alright. So that's the orbital layer. Cool. Can I get out of this now? Really don't want to be in it. I just want to... This you. may be okay. helpful. No. Shut up. Found an outpost. Quest log. Okay. Uh, for a colony to prosper, as you can say, we should focus our efforts on researching how to create new outposts for the colony. Gifts from home. A sponsor the force. Blah, 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 blah. Uh-huh. Research pods. So we found one resource or a research pod. Construct an expedition. Yeah. Okay. So there we found another one, but there's also an alien nest there. Is that what you're saying? A derelict settlement. Miasma. Alien wolf beetles sitting on top of it. That's what you're telling me. Okay. But it's okay. Ew, you're taking miasma damage here. How long is that going to take? Ten turns. And there's miasma on that too, isn't it? Mm. So I don't have actually ten turns of health for you to construct that. That's funny. That's funny. Okay. So we're going to have to ignore that. And uh, keep going and wait until we can move over there with a worker and and take away the miasma, basically. All right. So canyons are sort of like the mountainous. I think there are mountains as well, but canyons basically are impassable terrain, as you might imagine. 
So we've got a plantation on top of our fiber. That's wonderful. I love it. Um, you actually want me to construct generators. I don't know if I agree with that at the moment. I kind of want to grow. So I'm going to make a farm. Uh, yes, we will go next turn. We are producing something. What did we produce? We produced that relic, right? That's going to help us with the culture. So we're going to choose our production. Uh, we can get the clinic, uh, which costs us energy but gives us health. Probably a good idea to do that. Um, but what I'm going to want instead is another explorer. That's what I'm going to want because I'm going to want to know the terrain. Uh, so as we were saying at the staggered start, I'm the only one on the planet right now. Uh, it will let me know when the other players uh, start touching down. Uh, you'll see. Uh, so while you're saying, wow, look at all that open space, chances are somebody's going to touch down there, and then they're going to be quite mad if we start, uh, you know, taking their expeditions and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Shut up. Uh, <laughs> going over here. We are getting... We are getting in, in the bad, in the bad areas. That's the alien nest, okay. Uh, they aren't going to like the fact that my explorer is near their nest. There's a good chance that they're going to attack me now. Uh, so we're going to do our best to just kind of avoid the area and have them not eat my face off. 